lovelies. So you guys are really far back there today because I am filming a haul and I've noticed in my hauls that I can't show you guys the stuff as well because you're always like right there. So I'm going to try it this way and see how this works. I'm sorry if it's like a little bit dark. Um, I put all the lights on but that still didn't help. I might buy a light to just shine on wherever on me from wherever I'm filming but the camera had to be plugged in because I keep letting it die and not charging it because I am just forgetful. Um, so anyways, I am going to start doing something a little differently with the Facebook giveaways and it's starting as soon as this video goes up. Um, I've noticed that a lot of the people who are entering my Facebook giveaway aren't, they're not active on my Facebook. They never say anything, but they're just, they lurk. So, <laughs> they do lurk. So, I'm going to also be having... I don't know how you how to put it. Um, anytime you comment on any of my statuses or anything like that, you will get an extra entry into whatever giveaway is going on on Facebook at that point. If there isn't a giveaway going on on Facebook, obviously you won't get extra entries, but, you know, that way the people that are actually active get a better chance at winning. So, yeah. Um, other than that, completely beyond that, this is going to be a haul video. Um... There will be two haul videos going up. I don't know if this, if the other one, if I'm going to film it after this or if I'm going to film it tomorrow, but it'll be up soon. This one's going to be my stuff, his stuff, and then the next one will be the baby stuff that we bought. So I'm going to get started because I have lots of stuff. So the first thing that I got, and I didn't buy these at the store, they came in the mail, um, are boots from Payless, and these are from Lower East Side. This is what they look like. They are brown. I bought them in brown and black. Um, so this is what they look like. They're just a boot and they have just a little heel. And then this kind of um, ruched fabric. Um, and then the zipper all the way down the side. And these are in a wide, a 10 wide. Um, I have to say, to be honest with you, I hate these boots. I hate them. Um, obviously these haven't been worn. Can you tell the tag is still on them? But I wore the black ones and I just hate them. Um, they were $40 each, which I think is actually a little bit pricey for Payless because Payless is usually a little bit less than that, but it wasn't pricey for boots. So I bought them because I've had the black ones for the past two years. The past two winners and I loved them but this year I hate them I think that they either either because I lost weight pregnant or maybe they extended the calf because people were complaining that it wasn't wide enough the calf is so wide and they just fall like they slouch a little bit they don't look cute and because I don't know they just make your leg look bigger than they are I do not like them I will not be wearing the brown ones um I honestly don't think I'm gonna send them back because they don't have a pay less here and I really don't feel like buying a box and putting them in the box and shipping them back. I just don't feel like doing all that. And I lost the free return label, so... And because they're a bit heavy, I think that it would be costly to send them back. So, they're just gonna stay there. If they weren't in a specific size, I would do a giveaway for them. But they're in a 10, so it's kind of a specific size. So, anyways, I absolutely hate those. But, moving on to boots that I do like... I have gotten two pairs of these boots from Target. The first pair I got yesterday, or the first pair I got two weeks ago, and the second pair I got yesterday. Um, and obviously if I bought another pair, I love them. Um, they're just, they're so cute. So I've worn both of them, so they're both out, and the purple pair is a little bit dirty because I've worn them for the past two weeks. But this is what they look like, and this one is purple. It is in the color boysenberry, I believe. And, um, I love these. The grip on the bottom is really, really good. It's rubber. It's not like, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten them, but I've seen them before and I've gotten a pair before where it's like a foam material and it has like no grip and you're trying to walk and it's just stupid. It's stupid, especially for the winter. It's just ridiculous. So I got these. They have the rubber bottom. They are obviously purple. They are 
they have a button closure kind of thing but I never opened this I just slipped them on with it on um, and then inside they are purple fur which I love I love they're so cute so these are by acceleration and they were $35.99 or $34.99 a pair and you can get these at target.com I did check they do have them so these come in this color the color I'm about to show you and then brown and gray or black one of the two um, so that's the first pair and these are not in a wide so if you have a wider calf you don't need to worry about it because they don't go up that far and they actually stretch because the button is on a stretchy material so I love these so I got that color and then yesterday I picked up these these are in peacock and they just are like a turquoise blue I don't know if they're coming up true to color because of the dark over here but these are like a turquoise blue here let me try this maybe they're true to color now but that's what the color looks like of those and then the purple so and these are the exact same boots they have the um, fur inside and the fur is the color of the boot which I absolutely love I think that that's a good touch because I hate when the boot is like pink and the fur inside is like black like what why can't the fur be pink so I love these. Again, they have great grip on the bottom. They are from Exhilaration from Target. And I think they're called the Carissa or the Calissa boot. So Carissa, Calissa, one of the two. I The box is in the car because I actually, these are so comfortable. I put these on in the car because my boots that I had on from Kmart were so uncomfortable. And we were out yesterday from 8.30 in the morning and we didn't get home until 10.30 at night. And so I was like, I'm putting these boots on and I put them on and I was just like... It's like walking on air, which when you're eight months pregnant, it's hard to find anything that makes you feel like you're walking on air. Like even my slippers don't feel as good as these boots. So I love these. Okay, so then we went to Old Navy and I got a coat, which I've already worn, but I wanted to show you guys because I like it a lot. Um, so the coat itself looks like this and the buttons are black and this size is an XXL I need that because the baby bump I love this coat for like a couple of specific reasons number one it's really long let me show you it's one of those like dress kind of coats that's like a long like a dress it would look really nice with a dress also it has this right here which is like a band and there's a button that hits right exactly there and it actually makes it so it defines your waist and you can tell that I'm pregnant because sometimes if you buy a coat and it fits over your bust and your belly like there is no definition so you just look extra big instead of defining your waist so I love this coat this was $54.99 on sale at Old Navy I don't know how much it was originally I completely took the tag off and don't remember but I love this coat and I'm so happy that I found something that will fit me over my belly and yeah I'm very excited about it I think it'll fit me even after I have her because it's like I said it has a defined little bit of a waist so I love that then we went to Best Buy I think that we got this at Best Buy um and we got a movie which you guys might not care about but I'm excited to watch it it's called Chernobyl Diaries or I don't know it looks like this I'm sure you guys have heard of it me and Daryl are scary movie freaks, so he gets off work for the week on Wednesday, so I'm fairly sure Wednesday night we'll be watching this because I refuse to watch anything when he, like this when he's not off work because I won't be able to sleep. But when he is off work, I try to watch it, we try to watch it in the beginning of the week so that I have some time to recover from it. So I'm excited. Um, and then we also got a Wii U from Target, but obviously I'm not going to carry it in here and show it to you. It's more Daryl's than mine anyways, but he did get me a game and a pink remote, pink Wiimote or whatever, but it is the new Wii. It came out like 10 or 11 days ago, I think, and he saw it and really wanted it. So he never buys anything for himself, which I don't tell him not to, but he just doesn't. So I figured I would just, I'd be like, yeah, just get it, you know, who cares? Um, okay. So then I went to Bath and Body Works this morning after I dropped him off at work and I got a couple of things. 
So first I got his soap, which he still uses. I think he talked about the soap in a video and he still uses it. It is the Mentha Body Exfoliating Bar Soap. Um, you can use this if you're a girl too, obviously. Um, this has 1% peppermint oil. And it says, our mint infused soap refreshes, energizes, and lightly slews skin. I don't know. Yeah. He has really rough elbows and this stuff has been a savior because he actually does not have them anymore. Um, they are so rough they used to cut me and now that doesn't happen and we both love the soap. So this is what it looks like and it's just from Bath and Body Works. Um, it's from the CO Big Low line and you can get this at Bath and Body Works. And this is $7.50. Then I got some of the trying to find stuff in these bags. They can never find anything. I'm just pull everything out. That's odd. Okay. Hmm. Um, I got Shea Infused Socks. Um, these are the Tis the Softest. These come out, I think, I think they have them year-round, like, randomly, but... They have a lot more of them around Christmas time. They have the rubber bottoms, the little rubber pieces on the bottom. These, I liked this color because they are Christmassy. I have three or four pairs of these already, and I wear them pretty much every day. I just wash them over and over and over and wear them because my feet get so cold now that I'm pregnant, and also the grips help me not slip around because you guys know that our floors in our living room slash kitchen slash dining room area are um, tile. So it's really easy to slip and when you're pregnant, obviously falling is really not a good idea. Sorry, I dropped them. Um, but these, I always drop something. These are $7.50 and I love these. So as soon as this video is over, I'm putting them on because since we were gone all day yesterday, I didn't wash any of my fluffy socks, my little shade infused socks. So now I get to wear one. I've never smelled them. I just want to see if they smell, but they don't. If you haven't tried these socks, you should. I know they're a little pricey at $7.50 a pair, but they are worth it. And the other ones I've had since before I even got pregnant, so at least eight months, and I love them. I think I have them. I've had them for maybe a year already, and they still are fine, perfect condition, no holes or anything, so they wash really well. So I got that. Maybe the person who wrapped the stuff put the other little things in here, but if she didn't, I'm going to be sad. Okay, she didn't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so the last, I guess, things that I got, I got more. I got some scent portable refills, but they're not in here. So, oh well. Um, the last two things I got are candles, and for from Bath and Body Works um and the first one is a white barn candle and it is the hot buttered rum looks like that you guys know <laughs> if you've watched my videos for a while that Daryl loves hot buttered rum and um yeah it's his favorite so he asked me this morning to get him one because I told him I was going Bath and Body Works and I wasn't sure if they would have them because I wasn't I couldn't remember if it was a Christmas scent or a fall scent but I guess it's both it says Cozy up with this richly indulgent treat on a frosty winter's night. Buttered rum, smooth caramel, and just a hint of bourbon. So he really, really loves this, and I like the picture, actually. I think it's kind of cute. So I got him this one. And then usually when we go, or when one of us goes to Bath and Body Works, um, we each get a candle. Although this one is weird. It's all dirty and gross. My trip to Bath and Body Works today, it was a fail. <laughs> it obviously didn't go well. Um, so I got this one, which looks horrible. Can you guys see that? Like, it's all weird. I don't know what is going on in there, but it still smells good, so who cares? Oh. There's only two wicks. Do you guys see that? Like, what is going on? And it's super loose. Like, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall out. Okay. There's only two wicks in my three wick candle, so I guess I'm gonna take my three wick candle back. Um, but this is the Tis the Season. I will be getting this one again. I'll just ugh, exchange it. 
um, check your Bath and Body Works candles before you buy them because this does happen from time to time. I've gotten one other one like this. Um, this says deep green pine, rich red apples, and a touch of golden cider blend to create a timeless and heartwarming holiday scent. Okay, I will say I smell the cider in the apple. And if you sniff hard enough, you can definitely smell the pine. It's just a really good scent. Like, it's very, it's Christmassy without being, like, pine needles and, like, it doesn't smell like a car air freshener. It smells so good. I don't know. I love it. I love it enough to go all the way back to Bath and Body Works and get a new one. So, I guess I'll be doing that today. Um, I have to go pick him up anyway and it's on the way, so I might as well, right? And then I'll figure out what happened to my scent portables. Who knows? I don't know if maybe... I don't think she put them on here anyway, so I guess it's not a big deal because they're not on here. So, okay, um, but sorry, this is like such a random, I'm just so confused. Like my candle is broken, my scent portables are gone, like what happened? But I did get two of the Tis the Season scent portables, so I like the scent so much that I got scent portables in it too, so hopefully I can find them. And then the last thing that I got from Bath and Body Works is a candle holder. Um, it looks like this. It's got like a big snowflake on it. And I like the snowflake because these look like ornaments at the end here. You can see it. So I love this because I really like gold and red. That's like, I think the decorations we're going to get for our Christmas tree this year will be gold and red. So I thought that this would just look nice and it looks festive. So I will show you. I like it with the red in it, but obviously I will have to go get a new one of those. So... For now, Daryl's candle will go in there. Um, so it just, you know, will look like that. And I like it. And, you know, I like actually keeping the lid on them when they're in there. And then just opening it up when you need it. But I really liked this um, little candle holder. And this was only $5, so it was worth it. <clears throat> okay, so now that that was super scattered, the last place that I went was Maurice's. And will show you okay so the first thing that I got I actually got one of these the other day too in this mint color sorry this is driving me crazy um I got one of these the other day in this mint color but this is just a tank top a stretchy tank and I don't know if you can tell yeah, I'll turn the camera again yeah I still don't think you can tell but this has shimmers in it like little golden shimmers and not not sparkle not glitter not thread it's like just shimmers i don't even know but they don't come off on your hands which is actually really cool um this was originally 18 dollars, and i paid hmm, what did i pay i paid 1080 because it was on sale so i got this and i really like this this one i got in a zero um which is like their smallest plus size size and the reason I got it in a zero is because I actually got one of them in a one the other day, but it was a little big. So, got this one in a zero. And then I got this, which is probably my favorite purchase of the day, or of this haul. Um, this is a sweater, and it looks like this, just like that. And if you can't tell already, it has like green, blue, pink, yeah, green, blue, and pink dots on it. And I love this. It's like a, it's like an oatmeal colored sweater, like a creamy color. And I love this because it reminds me of Funfetti Cupcakes. I just think it's so fun. Like Funfetti Cupcake sweater. Um, this was originally 36. This is in a two, um, which is like a 2X, which I have to wear because my belly has to fit in it. Um, this was really originally $36 and I got it for $21.60 because, again, they were having a sale. So I got 40% um, off, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I got this and I love it. I like their sweaters because they come with this little tag just in case you are giving it as a gift. So if you're a guy watching this for some reason... Sweaters from Maurice's make lovely gifts because they're so comfy. So I'm so excited to wear this. I'm probably going to put it on after I'm done filming this video. So if I do film the baby haul video next, you will see this in that haul. So soft. Maurice's clothes tend to smell 
like um like a Macy's or something like a lot of perfume so I do have to wash them before I wear them because since I'm pregnant they make me a little nauseous the smell but anyways that is all for this haul and I hope that you guys liked it I'm sorry that I was super scatterbrained when it came to the bath and body work stuff I was just a little bit confused um but I will definitely talk to you guys in a little bit for the baby haul and my 32 week update and I will talk to you guys later and I love you and I hope you enjoyed this video bye guys